Many years ago, another human fell down to the underground. Monsters believed that Frisk would be the one to set them free. But... The human deprived monsters of this possibility. They had to fight the King of Monsters, Asgore Dreamer. In the end, the human was victorious. They took away his soul. And left the underground. Sometime after that, the ex-queen regained her throne. She passed a law under which all fallen humans were considered their friends. Monsters, displeased, decide to overthrow the Queen. The mighty Undyne, ex-leader of the Royal Guards, has retaken the throne. She passed a new law under which all fallen humans must be killed. Horror Tale A ray of light crudding through the cracks somewhere up high made you open your eyes. High enough. Memories of the fall, which it seems lasted forever, start to flash in your mind. Right. You fell. You dropped over 1,000 feet, yet by some miracle, you're alive. Seems these flowers softened your fall, and this disgusting puddle of mud. Where are you? Darkness surrounds you, making it difficult to see past the circles of poppies. At least they're alive, just like you are. You decide to get up and explore this place. Howdy! Eey! No, wait, please! Be quiet! Don't scream! Look, there is nothing I can do to hurt you. Jeez, you look like the saddest human alive. Okay, okay, I didn't mean to scare you. Well, what's your name? Say your name. Eliza. An interesting name. I've never met a kid with such a name. You can help but smile, Charlie. You know, you look cute when you smile. And now... Be so kind as to proceed to the next room. That room will be a great place to begin. I will wait for you here. So, you're here. Welcome to the underground. Some time ago, it was a blossoming and lovely place, but it is all in the past now. We don't have much time. She might be coming. So I tell you this much, this place is more dangerous than hell. Especially for you, human. All of this because of one psycho queen. Hmm, here, put me in your pocket. Seeing as none of us want to stay here, maybe together we can get out of this place. What do you think, Eliza? You agree. Well then. Flow we You're shaking. Your soul is filled with fear. My child. What a horrible creature, torturing such pure, innocent youth. Oh, please don't cry. Don't be scared. You're safe now. 
the big monster gently wipes off your tears. Ah, <sighs> that's better. I'm so glad this vile weed hadn't managed to hurt you. Vile weed? It seems she doesn't understand what she has done. Oh, I forgot to introduce myself. My name is Toria. I'm the caretaker of the ruins. I pass through this place every day to see if anyone has fallen down. Poor girl, you don't look too good. You must be very hungry. Let's go. I'll take you to my house and cook you something to eat. Monsters all reside, hoping one day we all shall fly, or will we all die? Above, where two men abide, praying one day they all fly, or will we all die? Monsters don't know what will happen. We humans are afraid of the monster and the blow. We wish the humans would forgive. These monsters know nothing but anger and hate. Monsters all reside, hoping one day we all shall fly, or will we all die? Above, where humans abide, praying one day they all fly, or will they get out of home child. I didn't expect any guests, so this place may be a bit messy. There are probably some things lying around in some dusty corners. You aren't allergic to dust, are you? Toriel is going to thoroughly clean this house. I want to think that you can have some real nice time here. Come now, I want to show you something. Your own room. It's a little bit gloomy, but I hope you'll like it. And here is a humble present to you. Ah, you're such a cutie with this bow. I'm glad to have found it. Another child forgot it here a long time ago. Unfortunately, she wasn't so well behaved. A little pushy naughty girl. I'm sure you would understand. It's hard to get along with such people. But I believe humans can change over time. Do you agree with me? Ah, now you're a well-behaved little girl. What a relief. It's such a pleasure to be around such children. Well, this room is at your disposal. You'd better look around for now. My modest library holds a lot of interesting books. Don't be shy to take them. Feel yourself at home, dear. Ah, child, here you are. The pie is ready. You like this book? What a coincidence. Me too. You and Toriel discussed different topics long into the night. Uh, child, wait, I'll be right back. Hehe, <laughs> deep breath. Oh, I'm so sorry. I have forgotten how monster food can affect humans. It's n nothing. We're going to fix this. There, there. Yeah. 
Excuse me. But all it... But it is all in the past. Here, let me put... Nope. 